Okay, so um, what I'm going to go through today is just a market overview of what is what is going on in the market and then um, also trades, previous trades that shoulda, coulda and woulda would have been great. Um, okay, so I'm actually going to start with the Euro US dollar first and we're going to just have a, a little market overview, see what's being up. So if we look at our Euro US dollar and you can you can go to your chart and and look at it yourselves if you if we look at it you will see we are still still trending downwards uh, market is still pretty bearish um, and we are still looking to sell on highs and just make profit on the downside um, if you go to your four hour chart it starts seeing a different picture um, you can see that we recently had a higher low, um, but before that we've we are still still down. I mean we are around about our sell zone now where we want would want to sell, and then on one hour, kind of the same thing except on one hour we've been trending up. We are trending up at the moment, but um, it's only been for three days. Now, three days and one hour uptrend is maybe a four, a four hour, one day uptrend. So there's nothing to can be to be worried about right now. We are just still looking to sell, and we are still bearish on that pair. Okay, now I would like to move over to the pound US dollar. Uh, on the pound US dollar daily chart, um, if you go look at your daily chart there at pound US dollar, uh, you can see that we are also still bearish, still down, still selling on strength, selling on power. Um, and we've had for the last four days quite a strong up move but in long term we are still looking to sell like price has entered our sell zone and this is where we're going to look for our next sell order on four hours same thing still down still got lower lows um, also again in our sell zone we're going to look to sell we still want to sell on strength and we are still bearish on that trade, on, on that pair. Um, one hour we've been trading, trending up. We've been getting higher lows, higher lows, higher lows. But we are still looking to sell on that. Um, if we move over to... If we move over to our Japanese pairs... Oh, who else wants to join? <laughs> okay, um so on, on the on the US dollar JPY, here we've got another story. Here we actually do have an uptrend on our daily, but on our four hour still a little bit up, but on one hour solid down, which we've got in our lower lows. Um, but on four hours we still we still have a little bit bearish on this. And um, if you if you have your chart open, you'll see we have just exited the buy zone, which took about 50, 60 pips or so. But we think it might still go all the way up to 120 to our previous sell zone. Um, if you look on the daily as well, it's uh, it's it's time to go up again. 
in that respect. Um, and then if you guys move over to the Australian dollar, US dollar, on daily we've been, it used to be down, it, if you look back you'll see it used to be down quite, quite hard, but we entered a little consolidation zone since January. We've still been getting lower lows, what you can see close to the beginning of Feb and then middle March and now beginning April. We are still getting our lower lows on dailies. Um, so we are still hoping to get nice sell orders out of it. Um, and obviously buying as well, which we did yesterday. And that was did yesterday and we just we think we got just over 200 pips out of that um but we still still prefer to sell it um in terms of that i think we might still go down to the 75 zone and bounce off that 75 0.75 level um Okay, I've got some more more people joining. Okay, and then we also have our Canadian, US Canadian, that was uptrend until it broke our daily low. Now that daily low was our entry for a long-term sell on the Canadian which happened yesterday um, it's only it's 130 pips down now so it's already 130 pips you could have banked if you entered on that daily breakout um, and if you look at it it's the the lower lows are coming so I rate we'll get another 100 200 pips out of that um, on one hour and on four hour, four hours actually more, more down. Um, let's look at our Euro Japanese. If everyone can open the Euro JPY. Now on the Euro JPY on on daily. We are still getting our lower lows. We are still looking to sell. Um, so we did sell it a couple of times, but we've been trading it more as a consolidation. Um, we would love to see it break the 126 mark. And we'll go some more down, grab some more pips out of that. Or our other selling is just if we get a high above 128.38 or if it goes up to 130 that would also be a great selling place selling level for us but trend is still down don't look at the one hour it is up on one hour look at the four hour and daily where it is still down okay everyone get me so far Let's move over to US dollar South African Rand. Now the US dollar South African Rand is still up. I mean on the daily we're still getting higher lows. And we still want to buy. But we stuck now. And we've been stuck between the twelve twenty two and the 11, 11.68 level on daily on 4 hour you see the same thing um, just had a little quick zigzag over there which was nice actually because we sold it down we bought it up and hopefully that it will break the 12.22 and then we can buy it from there for a nice buy upwards um, on 1 hour also ranging not much going on up down up down 
you know? Um, so we just want to wait for something to happen, something significant, breaking, breaking, uh, breaking important levels. Uh, and now we are on oil, crude oil. If we look at the oil, we were actually looking to sell to sell around 53 and then then it broke out of that but we've been selling at that level we've we have sold at that level a couple of times um, <clears throat> so we are quite bearish still bearish on this um, Fundamentally, it should only be ranging around between 50 and 60. Um, so 55 is is quite a good level for it to now come back down to 50 and then or 52 as what we have as a buy zone. Then go up to 55 again, 57, 58, come back down. But uh, I feel, or we feel that it, it will range range between those levels. Um, but yeah, one hour we have a strong bullish trend, four hour we have strong bullish trend, and on daily we just busy changing trend. Okay, on the gold, gold has been a tricky one for the last, last two weeks or so. Actually, um, but if we go to a daily chart on gold, we do see that we recently got a, a lower low, or not a lower, but uh, a higher low, if you look at it at a longer time frame. But we are still, on gold, we we looking to buy and sell. Because if you go to a four hour chart, you can also see it's just been ranging sideways. So we either want to wait for about the one, uh, the eleven seventy two, one one seven two level, and one one five nine level, where we should definitely consider buying, or if we break twelve twenty three, we could also also consider buying up from there, but I would like to see another lower, another higher low. And the high low I would want to see around the eleven seventy two level. Um, <clears throat> so those are mostly the pairs we're gonna cover. Or just covered and and those are mostly the, the, the pairs we trade. Um, I see John just joined us. Okay, so yeah, that is that is that is kind of the market overview at the moment. We are still looking for sell orders on the euro and the pound. We have just changed now and looking for buying on the on the Japanese, um, the Australian in consolidation, Australian dollar, US dollar. Um, we would still like to sell at the seventy nine eighty. Um, to go down towards the 75 level the US dollar CAD changed trend so we were looking for buys but now we're starting to looking for sells the only thing on here is the weekly is still the weekly is still very up so we could only find a weekly lower high and then it could continue continue the trend up but like I said if you if you had that your sell pending there on the daily breakout that would what was our long-term entry um, it's already 140 pips down we could get another 100 200 out of that okay um, is there any specific pair I did not mention and someone someone wants me to cover any pair you would like to trade or are trading and you just want me to to have a look at it and give you my my thoughts on the markets and 
sh if you should be buying or selling. So just um, if you do, just type a message and we can do it. Okay, I'm going to start going through some previous trades, but then also trades we could possibly take um, in the future, in the next week, or trades we should be looking at right now. On the Euro US dollar, on 4 hour, we just hit the previous support, the previous big support zone. Um, now, we would usually like to sell, sell on something like this. And if you sold on it yesterday, was it yesterday? If you sold on it yesterday or this morning, you would have gotten a couple of pips out of it. But it keeps on, keeps on coming back up and just breaking that previous support. Um, so I think what we should do now is actually just wait until we break back down through that. So as soon as we break through this 1.071 level, then we can maybe enter into selling trades again. Um, but just remember, we have been selling it since 1.1, 1 .1, um, since the level, the previous resistance levels. I think there's about three of them, all at the same, in the same level. So that's been been good to us, but um, it could go all the way up to 1.08, which is our 61 Fibonacci, and there is some previous consolidation in the in in that area as well. Okay, uh, pound US dollar. On the pound US dollar at the moment, we are in our sell zone. This is where we've sold before, I think about twice or three times already. Um, and it's been giving us a lot of a lot of a lot of uh, resistance because of the previous support level that is there on the daily chart, this daily daily resistance or our previous support, future resistance. So we are just in that zone now and we are looking to sell it. You can sell it as close as you can to the previous resistance, which is now 60 pips away. So um, yeah, anywhere up, from, anywhere up from here, you would like to get a sell. You would like to get in as close as possible to that previous resistance, which is at 1.498. Okay, the US dollar J, J, JPY. Um, like I said, we are looking to buy. I'm quite actually surprised by us changing to looking for buy orders, um, as I was pretty sure that the trend was gonna was gonna change and uh, start going down. But we will be looking for a buy kind of where price is right now in 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 the buy zone from the newsletter um, about uh, 119 between 119 and 118 or 118 zone and we're gonna look to buy it maybe up to the 120 and then start gearing up for a sell trade Depends on how quickly it gets there. If it gets to the 120 quite quickly, I would rather not sell there, but we will change that on the newsletter then if it gets there. And actually consider buying past 128. Okay, um, on the Australian dollar, US dollar.
if you look at your four hour chart <clears throat> you can see that it has been gaining some ground to the upside but also with a struggle it came out of out of our out of our buy zone quite nicely um yesterday but i think it might run out of steam uh, might run out of steam soon the the all the economic data coming out of the us has been worse than expected so it might continue continue with this rally it's on now up until let's just check up until the 79 79 area but yes I'm not I'm not very bullish at this on this pair um, as you can see it's just resistance after resistance after resistance around the 78 79 level so it might just go back up to there and then come plummeting down is everyone still with me okay um The Canadian, the Canadian dollar, U.S. dollar, Canadian dollar. Also, um, we are still, still in a pretty strong uptrend. On a weekly chart and on a monthly, we, well, last month, we were in a very good sell position. On a monthly chart. And now the weekly has come down as well. But um, I don't think it might go down too far. Our sell entry should have been or was at uh, 123.5, 123.6. Um, and it's only gone down 140 pips from there. I expect we could maybe see it go down another well we can maybe see it go down all the way to 120 but I don't expect much more down movement from that um, so our only options for future trades here is sell on a retrace back to the daily the, the previous daily support which is there at the one one twenty three six level um, yeah sell on a retrace all the way back there um, but we cannot start looking at buying uh, it's, it's there's just no good levels for us nearby to even consider having a buy trade on it right now Okay, um, you can move over to the Euro Japanese pair. <clears throat> so what we are looking for here is also still looking for sell orders. Now we only have two possible sell orders here. We have one that is at our previous four hour support. Um, and that is at the 128, 128.38 level. And then we have one higher up, but let's look at this one first. I would only sell at that level if we actually get there quite quickly, maybe by tomorrow or Monday. And if we get something significant on that, maybe if we get a nice pin bar or even an engulf on, on a one hour should, should give us enough enough reason to actually take a trade there and sell it back down um, you can even go as far as putting a pending right there on 128.38 um, but with a pending there at the moment your stop loss would be around 50 pips or so 
So I would just rather wait for it to get there and see what happens. Um, then on the RAND, the South African RAND pair, US dollar. If you move over to that chart, the only thing we can really do right now is look at buying. Um, I know we just made a lower high, but yes, and it, 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 it made our lower high on a very nice shooting star candle on, on a daily chart. But um, the trend is still up, so I would I would only consider buying back at eleven eighty to eleven sixty, or the long term entry from the newsletter, which is the eleven thirty five I think eleven thirty five level, to buy up from there. But um, I don't think we should consider consider selling that at the moment. Um, if you look at your crude oil, I don't I don't know if a lot of people actually do trade the crude, um, but it is it's it's quite a nice a nice trading a uh, try a nice trading symbol. It it behaves it behaves well. I mean, if you go to a four hour chart and you zoom out. You'll see how perfectly it's it it lines up resistance after resistance after resistance. It is just it is it, I mean it's it's crazy if you look at it. On the third of Feb, we had a resistance. On the eighteenth of Feb, again exactly on that resistance. Then we had a resistance on the fourth of March. Perfect resistance again on that perfectly on that same level on twenty sixth of March. Now, our next resistance on the 8th of April was exactly where our other two previous resistance was. So, it's just textbook movement. And I think we should, we should look to buy on those, on those two previous uh, resistance on, on, on the 4-hour chart. So, if price comes down to the 52.40, even maybe the 5350 uh 5340 level i i really think that um that could be a very nice buy and from there we can buy it all to maybe 260 i think we can actually reach reach 60 on this um <clears throat> and then on the gold so X A U U S D. Um, yes, just ranging market. I think we can really look at buying and selling on this pair, but not where price is at the moment. We have to wait until we get some significant levels, like the eleven seventy two, eleven sixty, um, for buy, and then the one, one the twelve twenty three or twelve fifteen, for sell. Um, when markets are ranging like this, most traders lose trades. But what we do is we don't wait for we don't trade on the small movements in a ranging market, like on an hour chart. We wait for the big ones, hit big levels, and we'll have to just have to wait for them. So we'll have to wait for the price to get up to the twelve twenty level. Or we have to get back to the one six uh, eleven sixty level. Um, is there any questions or any pairs someone would like me to to go over for them? Okay. Well. Um, Thanks all for joining. Uh, I will be putting this online and then you can also view my chart and exactly what I was talking about. 
but yes uh happy trading and i'll see you i'll see you in the in the chat room tomorrow